What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle where I am currently nude and running through the forest with a giant robotic arm. Okay, I'm not nude, but I'm nude in the sense that I don't have my mechanical skin on right now and so I feel very naked. I think, did he blow up my suit? Did my suit get destroyed? Why am I outside my suit then? Sometimes I do things in this game and I don't know why I do them. I probably just do most of them for the entertainment value in all honesty. But we are on a quest right now to go talk to a rat who is apparently, we don't even need to kill that rat, he's on fire. Is somebody shooting a cannon at us right now? I think somebody might be shooting at us right now. Yeah, it sure as hell looks that way. Wait, why is my suit on fire and taking damage? This is a fire suit. Aren't I supposed to be healing when I'm on? Oh, man. All right, hold on. We gotta... Let's let's get an amazing club. It's an amazing club of wood. Oop, not gonna get me. Not today. But yeah, I'm thinking Molotov cocktails should probably not affect this suit so much. I mean, it's made out of fire. Why does fire... Shouldn't we be getting healed by that? Any other time we get set on fire, it heals this suit. But just in the case of Molotovs, apparently liquor is our suit's weakness. We didn't know what the weakness was, and now we do. Liquor. It makes everything fall apart for me. Give you one of those, and then... Oh, shit. So, wait. What happened right there? How did he one-shot my suit? Oh, I'm in the wood suit again, too. Damn it, I don't want the wood suit. I want the stone suit. There we go. That's the suit that I like. It looks like we've got some new attacks, too. What does three do? Oh, it's like a meteor strike? Holy shit, that was amazing! How did I not know about that ability? I can call down meteors from the sky like a grumpy drunk Sephiroth? Dude, this is gonna be on right now. I'm going to charge you if you don't stop. Oh, shit. There we go. We'll get them out of the way real fast. Deal a little bit more damage, although he's just going to teleport the hell away. So what can you do about it? He's going to try and come in and stab me again. Give me ye old shivy. But nope. It's not prison out here. You ain't going to catch me with your elongated piece of material meant to puncture and wound me. Were there any chests back up in here, by the way? I was going to say... There's got to be some loot spots in here. There's no way we walked past this and didn't get any loot. A couple military boxes, like bombs and dynamite and other good stuff inside of them. Ooh, a fire mine. That might be fun. Maybe I'll play around with that. We've also got some mortar bombs. So the mortar bomb... Apparently I can blow myself up with my own mortar bomb. That's what I learned today. I learned... Oh, and it actually superheats me too so that I go faster. So it's not like entirely a downside, but... When in doubt, blow yourself up with a mine to superheat your stone suit and go faster, I guess. Who is this dude over here? He's got a pretty good pile of treasure. I'm a tiny bit jealous. I mean, his treasure is now my treasure, so... That situation resolved itself perfectly fine. Ah, welcome, traveler. I see you and I are both strangers in this land. The difference, of course, is that I know much and you know little, so this... Is our friendship, then. You come to me for knowledge, and I will ask for riches in return. What do you wish, friend? I worked really hard to get here. I crashed my plane. I built these battle suits. I solved problems for two different factions. Please. I've got a friend who's lost, and I'm just trying to get back home. To my real home on Earth. Yeah, well, nothing is free, my friend. I look at your marvelous battle suits that you have created, and it occurs to me a certain item I thought was impossible to acquire may not be so impossible after all. Deep within the planet sits the Stone of Omnipotence, a very valuable stone to the right people. I sent someone like you to find it, and as I recall, he was wanting to get home as well, but he never came back. What happened to him, I can't really say, but you may have better luck. Alright, so I'll do it for you. But does anybody just offer information for free around here? Brave and foolish. Why, you may be more useful to me than I thought. Follow the directions I've given you to the Caves of Infinite Terror. Bring me the stone, and I have much forbidden knowledge to impart upon you. The Cave of... Oh, great... All right, I'll see you later if I'm still alive. So the Collector is apparently sending us off to die. Very, very dismissive of our talents, but you know what? That's cool. People don't trust us to get things done. I guess that's that. All we can really do to prove them wrong is drop meteors on their faces until they tele <gasps> until they inevitably teleport away. <clears throat> gotcha. Stop trying to damage my suit so much. What is it with you guys? Oop, knocked over a tree. Didn't succeed at the thing I thought I was going to... Ooh, man, he's getting whooped on. There we go. 
Yeah, knock him down, take him out, stack him up real high. What, what? Oh, man. Still a few more belts and some scrap metal to be had, though. Oh, are we full up? We must be full up. There's too much items. Too many things happening to our character right now. We've got that amazing club of whatever the shit. And then our other suit got blown up, so I'm about to get on that in just a minute. But we'll, we can fix this. These are all... These are all fixable things. Ooh, we got scrap iron inside of there. I like scrap iron. It lets me make all kinds of goodies. It allows me to make, actually, repair kits, which are the big thing. We need lots and lots of repair kits most of the time. Let us roll slowly. So is there nothing else in this zone? Is it just telling me to zone? Oh, there must be nothing else around here. We could go and we could fight with whatever's at this monster node over here. I think this means that there's some kind of, like, legendary hunt or legendary creature over there. It's Nathan's place. Good old Nathan's. They cook a mean grilled cheese. It's got the grilled cheese with, like, the onions. And then, see, some people will get very, very antsy about this, and they'll be like, if it has anything other than cheese inside of it, it's called a melt. It's not called a grilled cheese anymore. And they'll be like, really? Where was this terminology? Is there some great cooking authority that determined this would be the case and has set forth that definition? I'm sure there is. I'm not being facetious right now when I ask you. I'm just saying, who is, like, the grand poobah authority on the creation of grilled cheese and the classification thereof because I want that job. <laughs> that jo there's no other, I have no motive here aside from the fact that like I want that job. Like you know Baskin Robbins has a guy and his job is just to eat ice cream all day long and he's got like 10 times as many taste buds as like everybody else. Basically he's like a mutant. Like he was born with way more taste buds or whatever and he just sits around all day and eats ice cream. And that's seriously his job. He sits around, eats ice cream, and describes how it can get better. And I'm like, I bet I'd be amazing at that job. Like, yeah, I don't have, you know, the extra taste buds or whatever, but I'm pretty good at tasting ice cream. And as far as I know throughout my life, I definitely, I think I'm pretty good at being like, I like this ice cream. This ice cream is creamy and also fruity and delicious. Like, I think I could do that job. This ice cream tastes bad. It is not acceptable. Please send it back. I could do that. Like being a food reviewer. Like how hard could it be? You eat a thing and if you enjoy it, you say something nice about it. If you don't like it, you say something mean about it. And there you go. That's your job. So what is in here? Oh, there's a dungeon over there. Okay, what does this big bastard do? I'm a tiny bit concerned. I don't like creatures that I don't know what they do. I also don't like the fact that that gun doesn't really seem to do much, does it? What does that ability do that I just used? My number two ability, maybe it makes me more defensible? I'm not really sure. I can't tell if it makes me, like, stronger or what it does. Gonna need a med kit real fast. Gonna hack and slash my way through this. There's a skeleton inside of there. You just jack that dude's belt. I can always make more med kits or more repair kits if I need them. So this big guy over here. My preference would be that we just go in on him with the power of our fury attacks. And maybe that'll fix him up. Seems to have done a pretty good job. He hasn't actually hit that hard. He hasn't hit as hard as I thought he would, given his enormous size. But compared to our normal character, I'm glad we aren't fighting him on foot. Otherwise, this might be a tiny bit terrifying. This might not be a good day for us. This would be a very losable fight. Yeah, I think that number two ability like, is like a buff or something. I think it makes us more resilient to damage or something. Wow, this guy's got a hard chin on him. Mostly, I just wanted the XP, but hey, 15 gold's workable too. Who doesn't love $15? There's a chest inside of there with a little bit more of that goo shit. Pick him apart for some bones. Can I open this chest right here? Is that one not accessible? It appears as though it is not accessible. Okay. I'm not mad about it. We should probably go down in the dungeon, though, and have at least a look and see what's in here. My knowledge, I don't think we've spent a lot of time in the dungeon so far, so giving it its due diligence seems like it might be a, a great way to move forward.
face, so it's kind of dark in here. Oh shit, I just roll right off the edge. Seems like everywhere I go, we got these weird little violent smurfs down here. Little meth head smurfs. What is this thing? Ow. Okay, so we have effectively learned what this thing is. We conjured a firestorm on our enemies who are in the water right now. Holy shit, there's a lot of you guys. I don't know if that was ten enemies at once, but we had a quest to knock back ten enemies at once. They're going to be throwing shit at me, I think. We've got regeneration, so... We might be okay. They're swearing at me at the moment, which I don't much agree with. That's not a very nice thing to do. I know we're fighting each other, and we're not exactly friends right now. But you don't have to be rude about it. Huzzah, we've reached level 16 through the slaughter of meth head smurfs. Jump through there and regenerate. Oh my god, there's so many chests over here. I didn't realize there was that much treasure in this area. I'm actually kind of excited now, and I very much want it. Ow. I've also been hit in my ass, which I wasn't really looking forward to, but you know what? Whatever. Since I'm regenerating with water right now... There we go. A couple more of them bite the dust. I should be able to tank at least a couple of these guys. Maybe it was just supposed to be like a nasty monster pit. I don't really know. But either way, all these guys gotta go. Give me all your coinage. Got some mines. Those actually probably would have been helpful too if I had thought about it. I didn't think about dropping mines the whole time. So do we get like all this stuff? Ooh, that's a mighty fiery axe made of stone. Also got explosive glands inside of there. So there's a lot of things we could fiddle around with. Hmm. Do I have anything that's better than my current? Well, that one's got four. Okay, so that's fine. Scrap metal for various projects. And my guess is that these military crates probably pop right open too. Okay. Is there anything useful inside these gem mines? Maybe, maybe not. I think we get some of those currency. It's really, really dark in here though. I'm having trouble seeing. And I don't know how we get back up to the surface. That's the other problem that we appear to have run into. Oh, we can light torches, so that's pretty sweet. Just in case you wanted to step up your illumination game. Well, if we were trying to get XP, this was a pretty good idea, because that bumped us up to 16. I think next level we get access to a new chassis, which means we can start working on the sniper suit, maybe? Ow. Those are bombs. Oh, you can disarm them for fuel and dinamite. Cool. How somebody dropped a bomb underground, I don't know, but I guess they did. Got a tent over on this side with a journal page. Pray tell, what does a journal page accomplish? So how do I get out of here? Another journal page. Get that spider real fast. So the journal pages, do they where are the journal pages at? Skins. Maybe they're for a quest? The Collector turned out to be a giant blue creature with a deep voice and inquisitive eyes. He did indeed travel all over the shards. Oh, so the Inquisitor, I guess the, the Collector, wants the journal pages. Fine by me. Alright, well let's have a look around for some more journal pages, I guess. 
Since that appears to be what he is after. There's another one right there. So yet another journal page added to our quest log. We'll have to keep a weather eye out though. Because I don't know what corners these all might be hidden in. I do want the explosive glands if I can manage them. This looks like our path out of here, so we'll light those torches. And I didn't know that I was supposed to be looking for journal pages as we went through here. So chances are... Oh, there's torches on the walls, too. And we can light them all to make our way easier. Okay. It does look like there's further investigation nodes around. So, in the pursuit of quest items, we, we may want to stick some of this out. Just kind of see what's around for a little bit. Trace around the edges. And in fact, I'll make a, uh, I'll make a little cut right here because I don't want to bore you guys while I run around in circles looking for journal pages. So instead, I'll just come back once I appear to have found them all. It's possible, so I ran around that dungeon for a while and there were no further journal pages in there. It's possible that what we're looking for, it's very, very possible that what we're looking for might be spread out through multiple dungeons. And in fact, since the game didn't really give us a ping, if you look right now, it doesn't give us an entry as to where we're supposed to go in order to finish a lot of this stuff off. My guess is that we're probably in okay shape as far as that's concerned. In order to level things up any further, we need to be higher level and we don't have any blueprints right now so we can't make that happen let's maybe go to a different zone and maybe if we go to let's say we go to lawless land or the doorway. It doesn't really matter. We can go to any biome, but I'm thinking the journal pages must be... The journal pages must be inside the dungeons that we can normally dive into in our own free time. And once we get enough of those, maybe that tells us where the dungeon is, where the Stone of Omnipotence is held. And we can run that down. I don't really know. We're kind of in a weird situation right now where... And I guess I've never been here before, it looks like. So what do I have going on in these chests? I feel like I need to craft away some of this stuff because we are really, really full up on items right now. I'm going to craft a cannon because I can. Because why not? Ooh, we can make a fiery version too. Yeah, make a fiery version. I like fiery cannons. And then on top of that... Not really a whole lot else we can make. However, we can make a ton of mortar bombs if we really wanted to. Sure, why not? Make a whole bunch of those little bastards. And then we'll start using those against our enemies while we run around. Inside of our camp menu, we've got ultra strong repair kits. Yeah. Should probably go in on some more glues. We need more resin, though, in order to make that work. Restoration oil cannot be used right now. Why is that? Because we're kind of beat up at the moment. I don't know if you noticed, but we're a little bit wounded. Our health bar is less full than I like it to be. Oh. There's a bunch of terrifying death spiders over here. Hooray. Huzzah for terrifying death spiders. Also, I dropped my gear. I actually find that mechanic to be a little bit irritating where you... Get out of here, you little bastards. Every time you die, you drop your you drop your loot and you gotta re-equip it. I do think that that could just be streamlined, like just make it so that my assumption is that yeah, that'll probably only go on to Oh, I don't have a catapult right now. Okay. I didn't need one anyways. We'll fall back on the dogapult if we have to. This doesn't look like it does anything. In fact, I don't know if there's a dungeon on this floor. There's a dead guy over here. What the dead guy does. Let's 
still have no idea what these portally things do. We've been seeing them all over the place, and I can't get them to activate or do anything. It's a little bit confusing. Maybe I have to activate all of them and, like, turn them to the same color. Here, you guys have got to go. I'm trying to work on something right now. And you were messing with the magic of the situation. So if I go like this... Can I, like, teleport in between them? Doesn't look like it. It also looks like there's a quest giver... Down in the hole somewhere. I don't know. Let's go find this quest giver. He's obviously off to this side. And maybe he's got some inclination as to what's happened to all the fox people this zone oh, another one over there great we're just all kinds of good at making friends today aren't we next level we get a new ability too so I'm a little bit inclined to murder everything that I can kill up until that meter hits the magic 1-7. Because once we got the magic 1-7s, our numerical game will be stepped up. Ow. Why are you throwing stuff through walls, man? Cheese mode. Cheating all day long. That's why you can't trust those lizard folk. Always cheating. They just can't help it. I can hear the whisper of the forest, the near-death whisper. They hurt. Oh, sorry, the voices, they are pleading for help. Something is happening in the forest, something very dangerous. And now the forest is dying. You look good, traveler. I beg you, help me find the cause. Help me save the forest. Sounds pretty serious. I'll find out what the thing is. Hooray. Let us assist in the resurrection of the forest. Ow. Why would you... Landminder base. I'm busy. Go away. Man, I'm busy laying down landmines to blow off my pedicles, you bastard. Did you not think that somebody friendly might come through at some point that just wants to, like, hang out or have tea or talk? I think that's very, very difficult. I think we're just about out of time for the day. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Goliath. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. I've been having a lot of fun playing the game with you. I do think that this title is interesting to say the least, and I will see you in future episodes. Bye, everybody.